experiment of Ohm's law. Purpose: The objective of this lab is to determine the resistance of several resistors by applying Ohm law and study relation between the current and the potential drops across its terminals at constant temperature. Ohm's law operators voltmeter to, to measure the potential difference, cable, inverter circle board, DC power source, electrical resistance, and emitter to measure the current. Theory The amount of electrical current through a metal conductor at constant temperature in a circuit is proportional to the voltage across the conductor and can be described by I equal V over R, where I electrical current in amperes, V voltage in volt, and R resistance in ohms. Collect the data between potential difference and current and put it on this table and calculate the R after divided potential difference V on I to get the value of R mathematically. After that, you can uh, plot the graph between potential difference and current. Put potential difference on Y axis and put I or current on X axis, then plot the graph and take the slope. The slope in this case represent the resistance. This is the graph between potential difference on Y axis and current on X axis. After you complete your plot, get out the slope. Slope equal, in this case, resistance equal delta V of delta I. And you can compare the value of resistance graphical and mathematical. The main purpose of this experiment is to measure the value of an unknown resistance. So if I need to use the formula V equals IR to measure the value of an unknown resistance, I need to measure the values of, v, of both V and I, the voltage and the current. Then I can calculate the resistance by dividing the voltage over the current. So this is what we are going to do. So we are going to use an unknown resistance. Its value is unknown. We need to connect this with a battery. This is the symbol of batteries in electric circuits. Two parallel lines. One of them is long, the other is short. The long one represents the positive terminal of the battery. The short one represents the negative terminal of the battery. Now this battery is going to be connected with the resistance from this side and from the other side. But from the other side, we will put here an instrument called the ammeter. This is an instrument that is used to measure the value of the electric current. So the electric current is generated from the positive terminal it goes inside the ammeter from this point now the current passes through the ammeter then it comes out from this side to pass through the resistance then it goes to the negative terminal of the battery so this is the instrument that is going to read the value of the current in the circuit and now we need another instrument called the voltmeter which will measure the value of the voltage the voltmeter has two terminals. One is connected to one side of the resistance. The other is connected to the other side of the resistance such that this V will measure the two, the difference between the two endpoints of this resistance. So just by uh, making this circuit, measuring these two values, dividing the value that the voltmeter reads by the value 
the ammeter reads, we will get the value of the unknown resistance. But in order to be more accurate, we will repeat this several times, five times in fact, which means we need to use five different values of the voltage. One, two, three, four, five. And for each value of the voltage, we measure what is the value of the current. So we'll have five pairs of V and I. <clears throat> of course, for each single pair, if we divide V over I, it will give the value of R. Then if you divide V2 over I2, it will give the value of R. But because of experimental error, the answers are not going to be 100% this is the setup we are going to use in this experiment. In this setup we have this unknown resistance. This is the resistance we are going to measure. And it has two legs here. And we have a power supply, this one, that will give the uh, power in this circuit with two terminals, positive, the red one, and negative, the blue one. And we have two multimeters. One of them, this one will be used to measure the current, and this one will be, will be used to measure the voltage across the resistance. Now, this thing here is called a breadboard. As you can see, this breadboard is divided into uh, squares. Each square has nine holes. There are nine holes in each square. If two wires are connected inside the same square, they will be in touch, in contact, like this. So if I put a wire here, and the wire in the same square, then these two wires are now connected with each other. But if I put them in two different squares like this, then they are not connected anymore. And of course we need connecting wires to be used in this experiment. Now I connect the circuit as follows. I connect first of all the resistance here between two different squares, the two legs, each leg in a different square such that these two legs will not be connected like this. Now I connect the positive terminal of the battery here with a red wire connected to one side of the resistance and the blue wire connected to the negative terminal is connected to the other side of the resistance. Now we need to connect the measuring instruments. I will start with the ammeter, the ammeter that is going to be used to measure the current here I used two wires connected such that I can split them into two parts to connect the multimeter to the circuit in series because the current must pass through the ammeter then go to the circuit and now I connect also this which is going to be used to measure the voltage with the circuit like this. And I connect these two to the sides of the resistance like this. This makes the voltmeter connected in parallel with the resistance. Now the circuit is ready to be used for the measurements. Okay, I will start the measurements by <coughs> turning on the power supply like this and I turn on both multimeters. I will start with the small voltage. For example, I will use a voltage of, now the voltage is 0.9 amperes as you can say, see here and the readings as follows. We have 0.9 volts here on the voltmeter. It is 0.9 volts. And the reading of the 
multimeters, 18 milliamperes, 18 milliamperes. Now the next reading, I will increase the voltage to, it's now 1.4 volts, as you can see, 1.4 volts, and the reading of the ammeter is 29 milliamperes. The third reading, I will increase the voltage. It's now 2.2 volts. The current becomes 48 milliamperes. The fourth reading, I increase the voltage to 3.6 volts the reading of the current is 77 milliamperes and the fifth and last reading at a voltage of 4.8 volts the reading is 103 milliamperes so by doing these five readings this is our experiment and from these five readings as I told you you need to draw a straight line and from the slope of your straight line you will measure the value of the unknown resistance.